everybody! The Oscars just happened, and we're here to give you a quick rundown of major events. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Ordinary Critics. I am Isaac. And I'm Carlos, and we're just two ordinary guys reviewing extraordinary Oscars. That is right. The Oscars just happened. And we're just here to give you a little recap on some major events that happened throughout the night and name some of the big award winners. That's right. The, the Ho Hollywood's biggest night just happened. And many huge things happened, Crazy. including Jason Momoa's pink scrunchie, Billy Porter's tuxedo gown, the chemistry between Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga, which, which was not shallow at all. Hot, hot, hot. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, you know, and the Oscars this year didn't have a host, which I think is important. Yeah. But I didn't really mind it. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't really miss a everything, host. Everything, everything, everything flowed, flowed very well. Each presenter kind of had their little guest yeah. spot. And they all told their little jokes, you know. Uh, that's it. Samuel Jackson gave some scores for some For the, the basketball game. For the game. Basketball game. game. <laughs> sure. So, you know, big <laughs> moments. That's right. So we're just here to recap a couple of the major awards that happened. Starting with Best Animated Picture, which we called it Spider-Man Spider Into the Spider-Verse, which wasn't really a surprise. No, we all knew. We all knew. I mean, honestly, uh, there were a lot of great movies. It was a, it was a, uh, it was uh, like a great year for animated uh, feature films. Spider-Man, like just it was just a level above all the other ones, hands down. Yeah, took the cake. All right, next up, we have Best Supporting Actor. Supporting Went to... Actor. Mahershala Ali. Yes, sir, for Green Book. And he's getting into this niche where uh, he also won the Best Supporting Actor for Moonlight, and he is getting very comfortable and very prominent in these Best Supporting roles, mm -hmm. yeah. which is really cool. And he's fantastic to watch. He's yeah. incredible. Uh, which So we both predicted that one as well. Uh, next up, we have Best Supporting Actress. Which yeah. went to Regina King? Yeah, Regina King. Yeah, yeah, if Beale Street could talk. Yes. And, okay, so <laughs> why... A, if Beale Street could talk, I'm pretty sure this was its only nomination. Or one of... Was it? It's few. It wasn't, like, Best Picture. It, it yeah. wasn't any of the major awards. Most of the major awards, yeah. And so... It, so it, came feels, a little, it feels like it a came, forgotten movie It, it came a little year. bit out of left field, like, if, it, if you want to, like... Think about it that way. Right. But, so, but congratulations. Congratulations to Regina King. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Best Actress. We'll start with That's that one. Role, yes. Olivia Coleman. <laughs> Olivia <laughs> Coleman. You're the one who got this one uh, right. Yeah, I so. did get it right. Yes, Olivia Coleman for uh, her, role, her role as Queen Anne and the favorite. The favorite. Uh, she was amazing if you haven't seen her performance it was great it was if you haven't seen her in doctor who in the first episode uh of matt smith's uh, the, the fifth series catch her there too you know yeah. perfect <laughs> so carlos also got that one right carlos was uh four for six on these major categories i was three for six whatever it's I, fine you could just say i'm better it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's no fine. biggie it's fine <laughs> Next up, we have the best actor was Rami Malek, Rami Malek for his portrayal of Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah, and we both got this one right. Uh, in it, my opinion, it, it was a tough category, but portraying somebody like Freddie Mercury and doing it fairly accurately with the vigor and spunk that Freddie liked to live his life, um, Rami Malek, absolutely hands down yeah even even I, I agree yeah even even the the surviving members of queen said like it was like watching uh freddie mercury come back to life basically yeah they were like oh yeah they captured it like they, they captured him and he uh, Remy malik captured him in essence so a uh, good job Remy malik like absolutely congratulations. congratulations and finally for our last big award we have best picture uh which went to green book green book yes. i thought it was gonna be bohemian rhapsody Carlos thought Black Clansman. Uh, so it's a very 
up for debate topic. We'll just put it that yeah, way. Yeah, it's been a little bit contested. A lot of people uh, wanted Black Klansman, including Spike Lee. Spike Lee was great about that. What happened there? Um, he really wanted Black Klansman. Yeah. <laughs> and this is called another highlight of the night. Yes, go uh, check that out. Yes. Uh, but this one, this one caught me off guard. This one, this was a, a little, little, a little bit. bit of a surprise. Yes, a little bit of a surprise. People are calling it like the safety choice. Although Green Book is was still, it was still a great movie. It yes. was just not. Uh, the apparent apparently what's going on is like that's not the movie that represented the one of the best one of the best represented pictures on two thousand nineteen basically. Yes. So, but still congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> that is awesome. You are an Oscar winning movie. Um, and there you go. There's our brief little recap of the major events of the evening. Uh, I got nothing else. You got no anything else? No, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Now, uh, on to next season. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, click the like button. Uh, comment what you thought of the Oscars below. Um, and hit that subscribe button yeah. as well. Did you agree with Green with Green Book? Or did you want another movie to want? Did you want the favorite to win? Yeah. Let let us know what you guys wanted to win down below, and uh, we'll get that conversation started. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay ordinary.